What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install OBS Studio on Mac. There's a few ways of doing this, but to start, I'll head across to the official OBS website. Just be aware that if you Google for OBS Studio, make sure you click obsproject.com and no other link. There is known malware going around using paid advertisement spots on search engines, so just make sure you're going to the correct site, obsproject.com. When you get here, simply select your operating system. In this case, it'll be Mac OS and choose whichever version you're on, either Intel for the older Macs or Apple Silicon for M1, M2, etc. I'll be choosing Apple Silicon here. Then we'll download a DMG file that we can open and do the old drag and drop to install it. Open the DMG file and drag and drop it to applications. Now there is a second way of installing it. If you have Homebrew installed, you can run the command brew install cask OBS, just like this. So you can open a terminal, paste in the command and hit enter. Then OBS Studio will download and install on your PC, no extra hassle required. Right, there we go. Once OBS Studio is finally installed, if you installed it via the DMG, you can right click this icon and choose eject. Anyway, if we pull up Launchpad and open up OBS and click open, you should see this screen here. There's a few permissions that we need to allow OBS access for in order to record our screen, microphone, etc. So open screen recording preferences. Then inside of here, we'll need to find screen recording, which is down here and allow OBS Studio. Then we'll click later here to restart it in just a bit. We also need to give it camera permission. So we'll find camera here and we'll allow OBS Studio. We'll need to click request access first. Okay, there we go, it's added it automatically. Then microphone, request access, okay. And that should have added OBS Studio on the microphone tab here as well. There we go. And finally, accessibility, click open accessibility preferences and turn on OBS here. Once we've done that, we should now have hotkeys available for OBS, microphone, camera, and screen recording access all granted. Then click continue and OBS Studio should open up. It's a familiar scene. And of course, from here, it's pretty much the same as setting up on Windows or any other OS. For me, I'll just be recording. I'll leave the resolution as the default for this display and set it to 60 FPS. Apply settings. And of course, we can customize this. On the audio tab, you'll want to set your desktop audio and microphone to the correct devices on your PC. For some reason, the output audio is disabled here. I assume on the next restart of OBS Studio, things should be working properly. So let's do that quickly. We'll quit and reopen OBS. Now that we have, we'll check for updates automatically, settings, audio, and no, still nothing. Weird. Well, my microphone's selected correctly. On the video tab, we can choose the output resolution and the canvas resolution, FPS, etc. Hotkeys is for the hotkeys, of course, for starting streaming, recording, pausing, etc. Output, I usually change to advanced, but this is completely your preference. Usually leaving it as simple is good enough. Choose a place where to save them. Choose a quality recording format. MKV is usually the best. And encoder should be Apple H.264 or HEVC, whichever one is available for you, if you have the correct Apple hardware. Otherwise, you can push it to advanced and customize things here a bit further. There are many different options. Just make sure you choose a hardware encoder for the best performance. Then bitrate, you'd usually set it around 10,000 for screen recordings, though that is for very high quality. 6,000 should be more than good enough, 10,000 for fast moving gameplay, etc. Now we can hit OK as we're practically done with the settings. Then for sources, we can add a screen capture and we can customize the options. This is good. We can also choose a window capture here and application capture as well, depending on what's started on our system. I'll hit OK with just the screen here. You can already see my microphone coming through properly. And that really is about it. Now we have OBS Studio successfully installed. All we need to do is click start recording. And just like that, we'll be recording our screen. You can also manage it from up here using this little icon. We can start and stop recordings here as well. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.